In the last lesson, I showed you how to create a uh, the file structure for a website. Uh, today, we're going to start. We're going to go into creating a page where we are going to divide it up into areas, like a a banner, columns, and a footer, to uh, just create a containers for the content that we're going to create on a web page, and. I'm not going to use this index page, but I, I am going to uh, go into this pages uh, document and I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this um, layout.html because that's what I'm going to create a layout in. And notice that this is connected to, this is inside the pages folder. So I'm going to double click on this and uh, you can see the um, the the beginning of a web page the just the the code for that i'm going to change something here because i want the the uh, code and design to split vertically I, d I just prefer it that way and the way we divide up a web page so you know when you open up a web page and you have you have a lot of times you have a banner and columns and an area where they have the main content and then a footer for information about a company or a website. We're going to create the spaces for that, or they're actually called divs. Uh, I said divisions, but you know, divs, that's kind of the idea behind it. And to create a div, you need to insert it into your body and notice the cursor is right there in the body uh, between the first body tag and the end body tag. And we're going to insert a div tag there. And for all of our site, I'm going to create a, um, a, a container for it. And so I'm going to choose um, a, a kind of div that, that's an, that has an ID. I'm going to choose a div and give it an ID. I don't want to give it a class. A class is for a different, for groups of um, objects that you want to have the same um, uh, you know, formatting or, or rules. An ID is for usually an ID is usually for just one object that you want to have um, the CSS rules for it. So I'm going to call this container. I'm going to make a new CSS rule for it, and uh, I'm going to keep it in this document. Although we could create a style sheet for it and put it in that style sheet, we could put the rules in a style sheet. I'll do that in a future lesson, but for now we're going to keep it into this document and the ID, it means it only applies to one element. That's what I said. I'm going to click OK. And then we have some rules for this uh, that we can create. Now, I want to, this container is going to be like this box that I put other little boxes in. Um, so I'm going to have this big box and I'm going to put, have a box for the, for the heading or the banner. And then I have a box for like a left column navigation. I'm going to have a, a content one, and then I'm going to have some like extra information, maybe some graphics and stuff over on the right, and then a footer at the bottom, like I said. So six divs is what I'm going to make. So this first div, uh, I'm going to define how wide it is. I want it to be 800 pixels wide. And I'm going to tell the height to be automatic. That means as I add other um, divs to it, the height will change according to what's in it. But I do want to limit the width to a specific um, width. Now, the, the kind of a confusing thing about this is that you can float a div and have it be left or right, but notice there's no center that you can float it. So I'm not going to worry about the float right there. The way you center it, though, is you put it, you have a margin, and you don't change the top or bottom margin, but uh, although you could if you want it to float all the way to the top of the page. But you give it an auto on the left and right, make the margin automatic, and that just makes it center. Now, so we can see each of these divs. I'm going to give each div a different color. And it doesn't matter what color I choose right now, just as long as it's not too hard on the eyes. So I'm just going to choose kind of a boring uh, color right there. Um, and that's going to be the background color of the div. And um, maybe I'll give the, I'm not going to worry about the type right now. I'm going to click OK. I click OK. And there we have, notice that we have this div with that color that I gave it. And there's some dummy text that goes in there. And notice this div ID is container, like I said. And here's the dummy text in there. And it's in the body. Now, after this div, well, I'm sorry, inside this div, 
is where I want to put all the other boxes that I'm going to create, all the other divisions. And so I'm going to, inside here, create a... Well, I'm actually going to delete this text because this text is going to get in the way if I keep it there. But I'm going to keep my insertion point right there, and I'm going to insert another div tag. This div is going to be in an ID again. I'm going to call it the banner. I'm going to create a new CSS rule for it, and I'm doing it at the insertion point. Ooh, I spelled banner wrong, didn't I? Let me cancel that. I'm going to have to spell banner correctly. All right. Now it's just going to be in this document. Same thing. I'm going to do the same thing for each of these. But this banner, I'm going to make it go all the way across the width of the div. So I'm going to make it 100 wide. And I'm going to give a specific height to this banner. I'm going to tell it to be uh, 100 pixels tall. That's good enough. And then I'm going to tell it to uh, float to the left, although I don't really need to tell this one to float. And then I want to give it a color. And uh, I'm just going to make it a little different color than the other one. Choose kind of light colors. And there it is. And notice you can't see the other, the background color that I chose for the first div. That's because this is taking up the whole space. As, as we move along, you'll see, we'll, uh, you'll see some hints of the uh, background color for the container div. Notice that I have the container div here in the style, in, in the CSS styles. I have the container and the banner IDs. And if I double click on container, I can go and change the you know background color. I can change any of the rules, the style rules for it as I can with the banner. Now I want to add a left column and put it right here. I'm going to create a div that is 150 pixels wide and 500 pixels tall. So in order to do that, I want to move it after the banner div. Um, because I don't want it to be inside the banner. So I'm moving after the banner div and before the end of the container div. So that's right. That's where I'm putting it is right there. Insert div tag. And it's going to be ID. And I'm going to call this left column. And I'm going to make a new CSS rule just like I did before. This left column is right there. I click OK. And now I set the rules for it. I'm going to do a background color. Uh, I'll make it... Uh, I don't know. Let's make this kind of a yellow one. And I'm going to make a box with a width of 150 and a height of 500. I just use my tab button to move through those. And that's all I want to do with this. So I'm going to click OK. Oh, wait. Sorry. I want it to float left. So it's going to be on the left side of this um, of the container div. Boom. There it is. Right there. Now, so now I want to create a kind of a main content area right here that's going to be 500 pixels. I'm going to make it 500 pixels wide by 500. What I'm doing is I'm adding it. This one's 150. This one's going to be 500. So 500 plus 150 is 650. This is 800 pixels wide. So my last one's going to be 500. I mean, 150 pixels wide and 500 tall. So now I want to go after this div, but before the end of the container div. Notice how the container div is uh, indented all the way to the left. So this one's going to be after the left column div, which ends right there. So here I'm going to insert the div tag. This is going to be my um, like main uh, div. I'm going to make a new CSS rule and click OK. And the box is going to be 500 by 500. I'm using the tab to move through those because I don't want to have to go back to my mouse. I'm going to float it left, and that's going to make it butt right against this one. And then I'm going to make a background color that is... Um, I haven't chosen one of those yet. I'm going to click OK, and then OK. And there it is. So now I have one, two, three, four divs. The other div goes around it. So here we go. I need one more div after this one, but before the end of the container tab, uh, div again. This one's going to be the right column. Make a new CSS rule. And this one's going to be a box, which is going to be 150 wide and 500 tall. It's going to float right this time because I want it to be on the right side. 
Um, I could actually make it float left and it'll just buttress against, it'll just bump against that one. I'm gonna give it a background color. Of, uh, let's do that one. Okay and okay. There we go. Now I have all those divs. Now I just want to add a footer div down to the bottom of this. And so I'm going to put my mouse, my cursor right there after the right column div, insert the div tag. And this one's going to be footer. New CSS rule. Okay. Box. This one, I'm going to make it just be 50 pixels. I'm sorry, 800 pixels because I want it to go all the way across the bottom of it. I want its height to be, um, uh, why don't we say 40 pixels? And I want it to uh, float left. And let's see, I don't need anything else except a background color. And we'll choose this one right here. Okay, okay. And there it is down at the bottom. So I have these five areas in six divs. Let's count those divs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's the end of the first one right there. So that's how you can set up a um, and some, some divisions. That's how you can divide your web page up into some areas. We can add content in here. We can add images. We can add text. We could, uh, uh, and we're, we're going to do those things. I'm also, in, one, in the next lesson, going to show you how to create a shadow so on the edges, so it looks like this page is floating on a, um, just kind of on a, on a desk, you know, it's, you know, it's a vertical desk, but, it, but a lot of pages have that kind of shadow on, uh, underneath their, um, you know, content. So that's what I'll do. See you in the next lesson.